How's it going today guys? Uh, getting ready to do a little bit of a project here on my 1968 Airstream. What I'm going to do is change out the power converter. And the power converter takes 120 volts and steps it down AC and steps that down to uh, this one steps down to 13.5 uh, DC volts. So it can charge your battery and run all the DC uh, stuff inside the camper well Really the reason I'm changing this out is This unit still works fine. It still puts out 13.5 volts, but if you Use your battery and you run it down to say 30% It literally takes two days for this unit to recharge the battery on the camper and what I'm going to do is change it out with a power max power converter and it takes 105 to 130 AC volts and transfers it down to three stages which will charge a battery a little bit faster inside the camper and also I stepped up a little bit on the amps I stepped up to 55 amps to where the old Univolt Airstream unit was only 30 amps this is an air, uh, this is air cooled. It does have a fan on the back of it. So it's an air cooled unit. This is also an air cooled unit, but it did not have a fan. Uh, it has a lot of fins on the inside to uh, get rid of the heat. So this unit may actually be just a tad bit louder, but in the location it's located at, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to hear it inside the camper whenever the fan kicks on. Um, so this being a three stage charging unit it's, it'll start out at 14.6 charge until the battery gets pretty well charged up and then it'll drop down to 13.6 and run there uh, until it tops the battery off and then when it gets to the battery is charged and just generally running appliances inside the camper it'll drop down to 13.2 so it don't boil off um, the acid and the water inside the battery so i'm kind of excited to see how this unit does and see how much faster it it charges the battery uh, my main goal is to be able to go to a campground and be able to run my generator during the day and be able to recharge the batteries inside the rv so at night, I can comfortably run, uh, you know, my furnace, uh, keep some lights on, and other little odd end things. I have a DC voltage television, so I'm wanting to be able to run that too uh, at night. So well, let's get this started. I've done got this unit out of the camper. And I'm going to go ahead. There's a little bit of wiring I'm going to change in the camper while I'm doing this. Uh, this Power Max comes with a standard plug-in. The old Univolt was straight wired in. And I'm going to go ahead and put a household receptacle in place of where this one's straight wired in. So I'm going to wire that in. I'm also going to put a disconnect switch from the unit to the battery so I can disconnect all power to the battery when I'm storing the unit or when I'm storing the RV and not it's not going to be in use so there won't be no power power drain on the battery because it seems like I do have a little bit of a power drain uh, if I let the let the camper set for say a week week and a half it will drain down the battery some so I'm going to put a disconnect to the battery so I can stop any power drain to the battery after I get it fully charged and get it ready for for the camper to be stored all right guys I appreciate y'all watching this video like share subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll catch you next time